so in this ppt we'll be looking at outliers okay yeah. so let's just start the ppt and slide show more work i also can figure so uh, outliers yep what are outliers what is an outlier outlier refers to those data points which lie far away from the from most of the data points so basically outliers are points which are rare or distinct here is a simple example okay we have a set of 10 numbers 45 47 46 354 42 49 99 48 55 i can easily identify two outliers ek to ye three hai aur ek 99 hai now why is this important to identify outliers this is basically increasing the range of our data theek hai though most of our data lies between the range of uh, let's say 45 to 56 yeah but these outliers stretch it to 30 and 99 theek hai ye galat hai na to mean effect hoga iska median effect hoga to wo to abhi panga ho jayega plus also because 33 and 99 hai to if you were to plot it out sorry ye liya and if you were to plot all of these points out most of them will appear over here but this 199 will come idhar kidhar whereas this one uh 3 will come idhar kidhar so although our main cluster is over here these two are unnecessarily outside which just increases our final cluster to become itna bada having all of this distance in between them any point to approach here would also become a part theek okay. hai so this is what we need to avoid theek okay. hai we what is an outlier again outlier say we have a set of 10 numbers ye to apne dekha in this set we observe that the most of the numbers lie between 40 and 50 but there are two numbers 3 and 9 which are far away from most other number these numbers would be called outliers ye to we saw how do outliers affect the data set outliers affect data sets greatly let us talk, let us take a set of the ages of 14 teenagers and one senior citizen and we take another set of uh, ages of 5 teenagers uh, ages norm Uh, so the first set consists of an outlier age is outlier is 11 13 15 17 65 okay yeah, 65 is an outlier age is norm is 12 14 16 17 19 this is normal this is a normalized data set but as per 65 is an outlier so just see the difference okay yeah? of both of these data sets just have a look at the difference because there is 165 the average mean goes to 24.2 24.2 is not even the mean of this data set theek hai there is no guy between 20 of 20 to 24 ya 25 ke range mein but we have risen the mean where 15.6 is the mean which makes sense for this data set but its median is 15 so medium be- median becomes 16 theek hai standard deviation is 20.5 standard deviation is 20.5 that is too much of standard deviation that needs to be lowered down as the standard deviation is 2.4 which is good how do outliers affect data sets analyze the above table that we saw just here mean median mode um, standard deviation and we can clearly see the effect the age 65 has had on the age outlier set mean increase ho gaya a sizable difference between the mean and the median of the data set proves the presence of outliers sizable difference between the mean and the median of the data set proves the presence of outliers barabar we can see that the standard deviation is also an indicator of presence of outliers if a data set has a very high value of standard deviation we can conclude that the data is spread out that is if a data set has a very high value of standard deviation we can conclude that the data is spread out so that we can see only the standard deviation is 20.4 which is considerably very spread out unlike 2.4 which is not that spread out barabar we can conclude that the data is spread out a low standard deviation value confirms the absence of outliers most data lie in the range of mean plus minus 2 into standard deviation to iska hi agar dekh rahe ho iska hi dekh rahe ho 15.6 is the mean 
15.6 plus minus 2 into standard deviation what is this most data points lie between that range so it would be 15.6 plus minus 2 so into acha plus 2 into standard deviation is 2.4 so 20.4 se leke that is uh, 10.8 से लेके 20.4 के बीच में अपने बट अपने ऑल द डेटा सेट्स आते हैं व्हिच इज स्टिल ट्रू 10.4 से लेके 20.8 व्हिच इज ट्रू फॉर दिस सो दैट इज हाउ यू कैलकुलेट कि व्हाट ऑल इज द डेटा सेट के वैल्यूज लेस देन दिस लेस देन मीन माइनस 2 इनटू स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन देन इट इज क्लासिफाइड एज एन आउटलायर ठीक है नाउ लेट्स चेक फॉर दिस 24.2 minus 2 into 20.5. This is the base. 16.8 से start हो रहा है. Going up to 65.2. Now do you see? 16.8 तो start नहीं हो रहा ना अपना database. Our database starts from 11. So it's definitely an outlier which is pulling the scale up to 65.2 to match its needs. But uh leaving out 11 and all the other lower data sets because then this value is coming as 16.5 then this class one the data set make outlier hai. identifying outliers using measure of central tendency this method is more intuitive than quantitative if the difference between the mean and the median is quite large then the outliers are present therefore mean or median ka difference is intuitive hai. there is no statistical result so I told you are using statistics, statistics, there is no quantity as such. Yet you have to use your intuition to figure out ki hai ya nahi. 24.2 minus 15 versus 15.6 minus 16. 0.4 versus 9.2. There is definitely an outlier in this. To be precise, the median and the mode of a data set will be much closer to each other and the mean would lie at some distance from mean and the median. That is uh, median mean followed by the mode okay standard deviation method at any data point which is less than mean minus 2 into standard deviation or larger than mean plus 2 into standard deviation is effectively an outlier you can take the threshold to be 3 in standard deviation instead of 2 in standard deviation there is no hard and fast rule for the threshold 2 or 3 threshold you can take depending upon the use so first method using central tendency second is z-score z-score is um, x minus mu uh, upon theta so this z-score of a data point is basically subtracting the mean from it and dividing it by the standard deviation uh, this this is standard deviation if z-score lies outside the range of 2 to 3 or 3 minus 3 or minus 3 or 2 3 the again the threshold is for you to choose the data point x is an outlier so kya bol raha hai z score lies outside the range of minus 2 to 2 z score kaise mila you take x its value from the data set subtract it from the mean divided by theta uh, divided by the variance if that lies outside uh, the threshold that you are setting minus 2 and 2 then it is an outlier. Example let them. It's me. Let's take uh, 65 only. No. Then the mean rule let them. Mean would be 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus that is 39. 39 plus 39 plus 17 plus 65. So sorry for that. 121, 121 divided by 5, 121 divided by 5, minus 24.2. Oh shit, so sorry. Forgot the mean is given over here. Uh, mean is 24.2. Now 65 minus 24.2. Uh, okay. This value is. Now we will divide this 
by 20.5 ठीक है तो इसका z स्कोर क्या आया वाइज द वैल्यू इज एस आर माइनस तो इस x के समेशन उटसाइडे X is the summation of data set I believe. Interquartile range. Every data set has data points called quartiles. While arranged in ascending order, the 50th percentile data is the median. The 25th percentile data is lower quartile, and the 75th percentile data represents the upper score quartile Q3. The difference between upper and lower is called the interquartile range. Okay, it's self-explanatory. Now, based on the following formula, outliers may be detected. Lower equals to Q1 minus 1.5 IQR. Upper is Q3. ये तो अपन ने किया है. Identifying outliers visually. Control charts. Control charts is a very useful tool in business interpretation, but it is it isn't really used in outlier detection. But we can very well detect them using these charts. Aside, basically, it contains several horizontal lines with map. तो फिर हम लोग एक दो दो यार बॉक्स लॉट ठीक है कर लेते हैं कंट्रोल चार्ट क्या है कंट्रोल चार्ट इज अ वेरी यूजफुल टूल इन बिजनेस इंटरप्रिटेशन बट इट इजंट रियली यूज्ड इन आउटलाइड डिटेक्शन बट वी कैन वेरी वेल डिटेक्ट देम यूजिंग दीस चार्ट्स बेसिकली इट कंटेंस सेवन हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइंस सेवन हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइंस है दे मार्केटिंग अप टू थ्री स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन ऑन ईदर साइड तो वन स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन टू स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन थ्री स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन और इधर लाइंस द मीन इज द सेंट्रल लाइन चार्ट टर्म इजंट रियली नेसेसरी एनीथिंग अप्रोचिंग 3 इनटू स्टैंडर्ड डिविजन ऑन इधर साइड ऑफ द मीन इज एन आउटलायर दिस इज एन आउटलायर दिस इज एन आउटलायर इफ वी हैव स्मॉल डेटा सेट देन वी कैन वर्क ऑन विद डिस्क्रीट वैल्यू बेसिकली क्या बोल रहा है ये यही है सेम थिंग है सी स्क्वायर वाला इधर ऐसा प्लॉट किया है इधर कंट्रोल चार्ट बोल रहा है यू देन प्लॉट इंडिविजुअल वैल्यूज ठीक है एंड इफ द अप्रोचिंग स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन तो इट इज एन आउटलायर कैसे अब कैसे ये वैल्यू मिला ये तो वैल्यू तो अपने को पता है मीन पता है स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन कैलकुलेट करके मिल जाएगा नाउ यू जस्ट प्लॉट इट तो अगर आउटलायर स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन की तरफ जा रहा है तो अरे एक कोई वैल्यू आउट स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन की तरफ जा रहा है तो आउटलायर है Now what do we got? Box plots. Box plots are the, as the name suggests, box plots which actually show outliers very effectively. Below is an illustration of a box plot showing how data which out with outliers looks on a box plot. चलो अब बड़ा करते हैं. ऊपर maximum है. That is the maximum value of data set. Then means minimum value of the lower quartile, upper quartile, median. है. आउटलायर इधर दिख रहा है अपर क्वार्टाइल और लोअर क्वार्टाइल के बाहर जो भी है ना वो आउटलायर है तो इधर दिख रहा है आउटलायर नीचे और ऊपर प्लॉट हुआ ऊपर नीचे प्लॉट हुआ इट इज सिंपल ड्रॉपिंग द आउटलायर्स वन पॉसिबल स्टेप डीलिंग विद आउटलायर ठीक है फर्स्ट इज ड्रॉपिंग दैम वन पॉसिबल स्टेप कैन बी टू ड्रॉप द डेटा पॉइंट्स कंटेनिंग आउटलायर्स गोइंग बैक टू द मंथली सैलरी Example: Say you are studying how people can increase their income, so you can drop the rich data points. Or if you are working on affluent people, you can drop the poor data points. This will make sure your, uh, that you train on the right set of data depending upon the problem. But there are two problems with this. Most machine learning algorithms need a lot of data to train. You are reducing the training set by dropping data. Some part of the data is being thrown, which actually exists in reality. Why not? One, so you are reducing the training data. Plus, there is data that actually exists in reality, but you are ignoring it, which could have impact on the output of the model. Right? Applying mathematical transformations. If you don't want to remove the outliers, then what you can do is to 
to tune the range of data size down to a certain range. If you apply sigma transformation, that is the S curve voila, then data after transformation will range between 0 and 1. If you take sign of the data set, then the resultant data ranges between 1 minus 1, zero, minus 1. minus 1 and 1. Similarly, if data points are very small, then you can exponential transform the data. Exponential exponential transformation. The best of these results are obtained by lots of trial and error. This is a very popular dealing with Atlas. So, there is no example that you have sigma or sign or exponential transformation. It depends upon the data and best, is, best way to figure out is using uh, trial and error method. Dealing with outliers. Third type. Uh, Vinskovsky error method. We normally use the mean square error method by machine learning problems. Mean square error is 1 upon number of examples into prediction act, prediction minus actual risk to the power of 2. The problem with mean square error is that for an outlier, the prediction actual values will be large and then it gets squared. So if your error is 20, then uh, on squaring it becomes 400. Okay. Instead of usual mean square error, we use min, uh, Mikowski error, uh, which is similar to mean square error, just that instead of squaring prediction actual, we raise it to power less than 2. This is called Minkowski parameter, usually 1.5. So power 1.5 here. Here if the error is 20, then it finally becomes 89.44. So the weight given to each prediction is radius. That is the end. So we take that one sir. Yeah, sorry, it is very late at night. What is an outlier? Outlier refers to those data points which lie far away from most of the data points. Data point ko samja. Ye bhi samja. Ye bhi samja. Outliers affect kaise kar rahe? They mess up with the statistics and the whole mean and they result in like wrong prediction from the model. Mean and the standard deviation. Identifying outliers. The central tendency. Differences, mean and median ka difference is quite large, so central tendency, standard deviation wala method is bata hai. The mean, median mode ke beech mein so, median, mean and mode ho na chahiye, arrangement. Z-score method dekha, Z-score of actually numerical solve karenge, tab I guess better samjhega. Interquartile range, even this, anything above and below the upper and lower quartile, and between upper quartile and maximum and lower quartile and minimum is an outlier. Even this when we solve numericals, we'll get a better understanding. Control charts. Control charts are the simple standard deviation 1, 2, 3, minus 1, 2, 3. Mean pala impeachment. If you plot data and if anything is approaching or about the third standard deviation or two standard deviation based upon the uh, threshold that you have set, it is an outlier. Box plot to box plot to we explained. Either interquartile or lemme. Matplotlib may you can import box plot tld.boxplot data dealing with outliers dropping the outlier one of the one possible step can be to drop the data points containing outliers which will eventually reduce the training data set which is bad for your model because model needs more data to train up more some sort of data set is ignored which actually exists in reality that is also wrong second is to apply mathematical transformation sigmoid sign exponential transformation your no 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 method is best. It depends upon trial and error to figure out which works best with your model. You have to fine tune it. Third is uh, Minkowski error method. We normally use the method. Uh, you have to find the error and then the power can be two, but you can also take it to one point five to reduce the error. Because twenty is four hundred one jaga error. But 20 over with 1.5 of power, it will be 89.4. So the weight given to each prediction is reduced. That is it for outlier handling.